Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Capricorns for July 2019. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. We're going to see what spiritual messages you guys have popping for this month, okay? And guys, please keep in mind, this is a general reading. Everything I say in this reading will not apply to specifically just you or to you in general. So only take what does apply to you and let the rest fly, okay? Because it is so many people viewing these videos. It's a lot of energies that will just not always be for you, all right? And if you are interested in getting a personal reading where it is going to be tailored to you specifically, definitely make sure that you check out my description box. That is where you guys can go ahead and book a personal reading with me, okay? Okay. And sorry if you guys can't see all the cards. I'm trying to do my best here. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So Capricorns, what I'm seeing for a lot of you guys, um, the universe is really pushing you guys to really do the work, okay? Um, I feel like it's not gonna just be enough for you guys to pray or dream for like certain things to happen for you guys there's also a need for you guys to go out there and take the best possible action to make some moves happen okay for a lot of you guys whatever you're divinely guided to do this month you're actually gonna have to take the steps necessary to make things happen um and i feel like this month um you don't have to full-fledged like Say, for instance, you're trying to write a book or something. You don't have to full-fledged write a whole damn book in a month. Um, only if you have the stamina for it, then maybe. Um, but I feel like this month, just constantly working on your priorities or whatever you're trying to manifest this month will make them flourish and really, like, grow over time. Even though it's not going to be instantaneous, it is going to grow over time. But the best thing you can do is take the actions now to make things come together, if that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense to you. So taking steps to constantly work on whatever you're trying to bring into fruition will bring you closer to what you need to be reaching as far as a goal or something that you're trying to put together here okay but moving past that um this month you guys are going to be inspired to do certain things this month and i feel like this will be guidance that you are receiving possibly from your ancestors so definitely um try to understand where these ideas are coming from and exactly like what is sparking them okay but i feel like as you guys leave behind this territory this comfortable territory that you may have been set in or this comfortable uh mindset that you may have been in for some time i feel like you guys will be making room for new opportunities and yeah, a lot of you guys, there is a need for you guys to really step out there and try something different and really go into new um, new territories. And again, this is going to take a lot of courage from you guys. For some of you guys as well, this change may have something to do with your love life. For some of you guys, this could have something to do with a partner that you're with. And there could be like some issues that may have been going on with this person in this relationship for some time. 
And you may have been really trying to pray that things will get better or you've been really trying to wait and be hopeful when it comes to things changing. But there may be a need for you to really, like I said, do the work necessary to change the circumstance, whether that's you guys working on communication or really um, seeing where your partner's mental state is at. Um, and also with this, this may be for you to actually like do what you need to do as far as like cutting ties from this relationship if you feel as if it's not getting any better here. But I feel like there's more than just a need for you guys to ask for things to be better. There's a need for you to really do what you need to do to change the circumstance that you're in. But beyond this, what I am seeing as well for you guys, um, moments where you do feel as if people are testing you or your energy your energy may be low or you may just be at your wits end there is a need for you to find some sort of way to uplift yourself okay whether that's finding some sort of new hobby okay like painting or some sort of like dancing class or even just like putting on music on the weekends or after work and just dancing your heart away find some sort of way to really shift your vibration this month instead of staying in that low energy find some sort of way to raise it back up okay because that's the only way you guys are going to be able to really push forward here um when times get rough and what you do need to understand is that your spirit guides and really your ancestors, for a lot of you guys, this could be like your grandmother if she did recently pass. Um, I feel like your ancestors are really helping you lay out the foundation and there is really just a need for you guys to tune into your inner portal, like what your heart wants for you. And this is only going to happen after you guys really just take some time for yourself to get grounded, especially if you are an empath or somebody who's very highly sensitive to other people's feelings or just other people's energy. Um, this could be like you being around other people who are always angry all the time. And this may cause you to be angry or irritable or dealing with people who are super emotional and then they want to dump their emotional baggage on you and then it takes a toll on you so taking time to yourself to really get a peace of mind and really align your chakras will definitely give you the insight that you're needing from your ancestors from your spirit guides when it comes to laying the foundation to your life or different aspects of your life for some of you guys okay um, but another thing I am seeing for you guys as well, um, a lot of you guys do need to be patient when it comes to the universe, making some things happen for you. You're definitely on the universe's time. And with that, with the universe, you never know when that is, because again, the universe doesn't really work on time. So you're on the universe's time. Know that you're on divine timing. Okay. <laughs> And divine time, it could be any second. So definitely understand that. Patience is key this month. And again, um, you guys are going to be pushed to come out of this comfort zone energy. Some of you guys have been stuck in this comfortable space for so long. And yes, there's a lot of growth. There's a lot of energy there. But there's so much more, so much room for you to grow, so much space for you to really flourish that you need to come out of this comfortable space. You have to. All right. Um, also, what I am seeing as well, when it comes to your love life, there is some deceit that you guys do need to clear up. This could be financial deceit, like somebody doing shady things to get somebody financially, or this could be just actual lies that are within your marriage for some of you guys. This could even be within your family unit. Um, and for some of you guys, just your relationship just in general. Okay, but there is a need for you to deal with that head first this month. Okay, so for the most part, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say to you guys as far as your spiritual messages. I really hope that I was able to give you guys some sort of guidance. Actually, no, I did have two more things I did want to talk to you guys about. I do have my rebel cards that I pulled for you guys. And with these, it says you need a big fucking hug. And on the back of it, it says squeeze. And we also have take a fucking trip. And it says, go see some shit, do some new things, talk to people cooler than you, okay? 
So for a lot of you Capricorns, I feel like you do need emotional support this month. You may have moments where you just are emotionally feeling some sort of way. And that's life. We all feel some sort of way. Emotions are always constantly in motion. That's what emotions are, energy and motion. So with this, make sure that you are actually allowing yourself to receive that compassion if you are looking for it. Um, and also don't be afraid to ask for help if you are like needing emotional support definitely don't be afraid to ask for it and if you are really like I said needing some time to clear your mind and get your emotions to a better space taking some sort of trip or some sort of vacation whether that's going to the Bahamas or down the street to a hotel okay do what you gotta do to make you feel a lot better okay and it could help by you taking some sort of vacation Alrighty, so now that's it for your reading. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope that I was able to give someone out there some sort of guidance or clarity. If this did resonate, please make sure you like this video, comment below, and subscribe. And again, if you do want to book me for a personal reading, definitely make sure you check out the information below in the description box. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye Capricorns!